Wednesday of the month of October in peace and in joy and in good health. Shout a wonderful hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mommy, please help me to shout this hallelujah for what God has done. We are going to shout seven hallelujah because He has done it again. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God that did not make any of us to cry. Thank you, Jesus. He did not allow us to cry over our Thank children. You. Thank you, Lord. I want sure. you to help me to cry, uh, to shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Over me, over my family. You, over Jesus. daddy, over his Thank family, you, over Jesus. every member of this church, Jesus. Thank you, over the choir, over Thank the you, mommies, Thank over you, the daddy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. for Thank the you, Lord. what God has done. Thank you, Jesus. I want Thank you to Lord. help me to shout this hallelujah, because yesterday, as my daughter was going to school, and the school bus, suddenly the brake fell, and there was, in the front, there was canal. And the driver think that if you move further, everybody is going to destroy. They will perish. Eventually, he turned his swap, he hit the car, and hit the fence. And the what surprised like nothing, no one, no one was recorded dead in that. Vehicle. Thank you, Jesus. It is not that the driver knows how to drive. It is God yes. that drove that vehicle. It is God that was with them. Thank you, Lord. God had not allowed me to cry over my daughter. Thank you, Jesus. That had not allowed certain things to happen. Thank you, Lord. And we're thinking, why? What happened? God did not leave us in this church that answer prayer. Thank you, Lord. I want us to shout seven hallelujah together and praise God for what God has done. Thank seven hallelujah together. Hallelujah. 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 God Almighty continue to be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We started this year, we are going to end it well in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From what God has spoke, uh, what God has said is going to do, is going to do it. Yes. Whatever God has promised you, if you did not give up, you will surely receive it. Amen. Whatever you have dreamt of, or whatever they have said to you, if you do not give up, 
you will surely experience it. Amen. You are thinking about time. You are counting time. You are counting your numbers. You are looking at the calendar. You are looking at your age. But you are not looking at the circumstances that are wearing the blessings. God is not slack in doing good. It is not slack in helping. It is not slack in promoting you. Is we that we must not give up. Because this life is about continuation until our life. Until our, my soul, your soul is taken away. That is when there is no more continuation. You can't just receive something and you sit down. You will continue to want to what? More and more and more. If you don't need money, you will need a good health. If you don't need a good health, you will need accommodation. If you don't need accommodation, you will need something. If you don't need something, you will need maybe for your child or you know your children, you need something. Something you must need. And who can do it? That is why it's on. Mafo yani apa Jesu. No matter how the fear. Don't let that thing torment you and say, ah, I will give up. Never give up. Even though you are praying and they're saying everybody's attacking you, blaming you. Romwat believe we clinch onto onto this uh, onto the cross. At the end, at the end of the tunnel, that people that are mock you now, those people that are saying you are nobody again, those people that are calling you grandma, that are calling you that you are the um old part, old uh, old generation, they will come back and celebrate you and say you are a new generation now. Amen. Amen. Because God is not our far, it is our will. Don't let the condition or the challenges you are facing now to make your life to be something like people will not say, ha, ah, in 10 years back, if you see her or him, he, she was totally different. He, he was so blessed. He was so energetic. Don't let people say that to you. Even though they say that, let them know that yes, the God I'm serving is a living God. And he will surely do it. Amen. Despite enemy are mocking us, if you believe in God, they will surely celebrate you. Amen. According to the Lamentation chapter 5, For this, our heart is faint. Mommy, daddy, my heart and your heart sometimes in that condition is weakened. We are losing it. We are doubting that is God going to do it again? Am I going to be blessed again? Am I going to be rich again? Am I going to have my green card again? Am I going to work again? Am I going to be like the former again? It makes us know it said what? For these uh -huh. things, our eyes are dim. Because Mommy, your eyes and my eyes sometimes are dim. You are thinking that, ha Kilo day, more than bad row. More than lo judge, kilo day. What you want to buy? More than bebe, montoro. Eh? If you if you are if you if you are connected to the WhatsApp uh, to the prayer yesterday, the the man was crippled for having a bedsider for thirty years, and the woman with the infir infirmity for he said is the they not even said is the enemy they said what the only spirit only spirit. Holy Spirit, they say, Holy Spirit, cripple her for the testimony of God. So when you are going through something, it may be that God wants to use you as a what? As a testimony for the world. Sometimes you may be going through a challenge, you'll be thinking that, ha, 
But God wants to use your life as a testimony. But if you do not look and you do not focus, sometimes you may lose it. Sometimes you may surrender. But if you believe and you know the God you are serving, your life will be used as a point of contact. The woman was crippled for how many what? For how many years? 16 good years. One, two, three, sixteen. So what you are going through today, because you are maybe one month, and you start saying, God has forgotten you. Two months, God has forgotten you. God did not remember you. Over. One year, God did not remember you. God will surely come back. It is not slack in doing it. It is just we that you are thinking that God, uh -uh, look at the people around me. They have been blessed. But wait. Because it makes us know, it said what? The latter shall be greater than the former. Mommy, continue back. Because of the mount, mountain of Zion. The part of the mountain of Zion. Which is desolate. The fox walks upon it. Because what? The mount of mountain of Zion, which is desolate. The fox walk upon it. Sometimes you see a place that was blessed. 